All right, y'all. <clears throat> What's good, family? YouTube family, YouTube fan, YouTube La Familia. I was shaking. What it do? Uh, oh, hold on. Damn. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. All right, my fault. Before every video moving forward, I'm going to be promoting my clothing brand. Let me not say clothing brand. Sounds mad cheesy. I'm going to be promoting stuff that I have. So as y'all could see in my previous videos, we have Trucker has still left available. We got a couple left. Uh, again, feel free to comment down below if y'all looking to cop. And last but not least, these just dropped. Um, I haven't pushed these as of yet, but be on the lookout for um, an ad for these. These just dropped about... It's an exclusive draw. So anyway, feel free to comment down below. Uh, I want to thank you guys for those that have been watching my content. Uh, just a bunch of stuff that I've been doing, just figuring out my channel, you know, just creating, you know what I'm saying? So uh, shout out to y'all. Um, we're going to keep pushing. Road to 1K and we're going to make it happen. Today, I plan on dropping three vids. I didn't drop a video yesterday. So be on the lookout for that and um, let's get right to it. So we're going to do a light response on this pop the balloon give my opinion my reaction to it and we'll get right to it so let's get to it make it too long probably max with this vid i'll probably do like we'll probably do 12 minutes bro. She's been looking real, real nice. Each each time I be watching these, she's been looking, she's been looking I, I ain't gonna lie. Salute to her husband. <clears throat> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your host Arlette and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And this time around we've got some single men lined up. Make some noise guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So the way this game is going to go, I'm going to be bringing out some single ladies one by one. Corner, if she's your type, you're feeling her, you know, whatever it is, or maybe the thing she says intrigues you, do not pop your balloon. However, if there's anything that you're not feeling, whether it's her hair, outfit or also again some things that she said go ahead and pop your balloon and then i'll go over to a few of you see why you ended up popping we ready yep. okay 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 all right so with that being said let's go ahead and bring out our first single lady hello welcome in i'll have you hold that what's your name Hi, my name is Jessica Carmen. Jessica, okay, and how old are you? I'm 27 years old. 27, okay, and what do you do? I'm a doctor. I specialize in internal medicine. My man popped that mad quick, like, bro. She ain't even drop all her qualities or whatnot. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, now what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to do gymnastics. Um, I'm a gymnast, and I also do cheerleading, too. I started back that... So, um, yeah, those are like the things I do. And I started a TikTok account like oh. a week ago. And okay. then also <laughs> I post on YouTube. Hey, very it. nice. <laughs> so what are some things you look for in a man? Um, really, I'm looking for someone that knows what they want. Someone that came here with the intention of finding love and um, also someone that's like ready to settle down and but look right so she's automatically a doctor right so she already outpays most dudes in her age range financially so now it's gonna be kind of tough for her to find a mate 
you know what I'm saying, around her age range that make equally or more bread than she do. And obviously, I'm sure she's already accustomed to a certain lifestyle, so she's not going to settle. So that's the sad reality with that, but... She ain't gonna pay no has problems. an end goal of getting married okay now what are some of your deal breakers um i guess i would say someone that's unsure of what she they got a nice smile though for the show a nice she got a nice smile you want if you're not ready to get married like in the next few years you're not really someone that i'm looking for okay and yeah okay <laughs> so we did get a, a few pop balloons let's go mm -hmm. on over there and see why they ended up popping those balloons all right, let's start right on over here. Hello. If we can have your name and age. My name is Johnny, and my age is 34. Okay. And Johnny, what do you do? I'm a personal trainer. Okay. Very cool. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped my balloon because she's a doctor, for one. Oh. It's not a bad thing. It's just that I smoke a lot. and I, I told y'all. I told y'all. <laughs> I told y'all. Mind you, he's older. I know it's probably gonna be a problem for her. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, just to be honest, that's, that's the only reason for real. Like you look good. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. So is the smoking a problem for you with you being a doctor? Yes, I don't really like cigarette smokers. But. I don't really smoke cigarettes, it's other things, but you know, not, not cigarettes. But. Okay. So is Johnny someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, you're a personal trainer. You look very fit. And so, yeah, I, I like that. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. Let's go on over to our next guy here. Your name and age? I'm Justin. I'm 34. And Justin, what do you do? Well, I'm a CEO of a um, logistics company nationwide, semi-truck cleaning and fleet company. Okay, cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I mean, she's a very beautiful lady. Uh, she seemed like a nice woman. I ain't going to hold y'all. She seemed like a nice Gal. Um, it just seemed like she was a little downspoken. She wasn't very confident when she walked out. Um, I like outspoken people, you know, straight to the point, like, hey, what's up? You know, I'm here. This is what we got going. So it's nothing against you. It's just you seem like a very nice person. But, you know, you're not loud enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. I mean, honestly, I'm like really nervous being here. Oh, I could tell, you know, yeah. Yeah. that's why I don't want to like use that against you. But yeah. that's what it is for right now, you know, so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. that's fine. And now uh, um, is Justin, that's yeah, the name? Justin. Justin, is Justin someone that's your type? Um, uh, not really, just not really the type that I typically go for. But okay. um, yeah, you're very handsome. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when you say type then and then you call me handsome, you mean like, in what way? What, mm -hmm. what, what kind of type? Um, I guess maybe someone a little more tall. Yo, when women do that, bro, is they just try to be respectful. Res like when they say compliments like that, it's it's low key a compliment, but a backhand compliment. Like they don't want to play you, but they low key is playing you. You know what I'm saying? Just keep it a buck. I don't really care. For me personally, I don't really care. But I know other dudes might receive what she's saying. <clears throat> differently and as my brother right here clearly he wants some answers on why you know what's up with this so uh. but, mm -hmm. you know, <coughs> i get that just a lot. my preference i guess yeah. okay i got you you know what i'm saying okay. nice to meet you nice to meet you as well all right thank you let's head on back so we do still have quite a uh, quite a few balloons left unpopped yeah. so i am gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys a question just to help us narrow it down for you okay um, does anyone have kids? Well, because we got, or do you want us to go ask them, like, how many, all that stuff, or? Um, yeah, how many uh, kids do you have? have you, oh, let's start over here. <laughs> okay, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, right, my name is Bassi. Um, I'm 36. I'm going to be 37 in four days, so yeah. I do have two kids. I have an 11-year-old son and a 12-year-old daughter. Yeah. And sorry, Bassi, what do you do? I work in construction field. I do own my own construction business as well. So, yeah. And then we did get someone down here. Okay, your name and age and what you do? Uh, my name is Kenneth. Um, I, um, I work for a behavioral health company. He sound mad nervous. You gotta relax. I need for my mother and my stepfather. Um, and um, I do have one kid, and uh, he's 10 years old. Okay, and then I think we did have one more. 
Your name and age? Oh, my name is George. I'm 35. And George, what do you do? I'm a healthcare worker. Okay. How many kids do you have? I have two. Okay. How old? I ain't really digging the shirt, but politely. <laughs> Nine and six. All right. Um, honestly, I'm going to have to ask all of you guys that said yes to pop your balloon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's start here since we're here. So why did you have your balloon unpopped? I mean, she looked beautiful. I was just curious to see what she had more to say about. Okay. Yeah. So. Now, apart from him having the kids, is he someone that is your type? Yeah, okay. definitely. You mm -hmm. said you're a healthcare worker? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so I think that's really nice because we have that in common. We do. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma All right, let's go to our next guy <laughs> over here. Okay, so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh... Oh, she pop. She told me if 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 it's right, if it's. All right, I'm gonna do. We'll do her, and we'll do another girl, and then that's it. Cause I'm already up to like nine minutes. So I told y'all, max I'll do is fifteen. I don't want to drag it, but like I said, it's up to you guys. You guys fuck with the video, then I'll keep making more content out of this. But I'm only gonna go as hard as y'all go. You know what I'm saying? It's a two way streak, so. <clears throat> if you have kids pop it yeah so then why did you have it unpopped okay, before so, she told you to pop so, um, <laughs> initially so when she came out you know i i found a physical attraction to her initially i love long hair uh skin complexion i seen the shine so teeth bright that's what i like so thank you so much you're welcome so listen right i'm gonna keep saying it if you a nigga that go on these shows, it's just telling me you get no bitches. And if you a woman that goes on the show, it tells me you get no niggas. That's what I'm... I'm going to keep reiterating that over and over. I don't see the purpose of going on these shows. However, if you have a brand... Like, for instance, for women, right? I can see how women could go on these shows because it's a great way for marketing, right? If they're like a, a influencer or... An Instagram model, I could see how they could leverage off of that, but it still kind of gives off to me. It gives off you don't get niggas to me, you know what I'm saying? As a nigga, I can't jack this, but I mean, do what you gotta do, man. I ain't knocking it, you know. There's, there's like very few niggas that I've seen on these shows that actually seem, you know, quote unquote legit, but um, yeah. I can't jack. <laughs> and now, is he someone that's your type? <clears throat> oh, yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very attractive. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I would say you're my type teeth. for sure. And yeah, I wish I got a chance to know more about you. Same so. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And our last guy over here. So why did you have your balloon unpopped? So when she first came out, I noticed that the honor, she was a little timid. She was shy a little bit. Um, but I noticed she has like a good person. Yeah, he's mad nervous. He's mad personality about her so um she's very pretty um i like what she's wearing uh nice teeth as well so yeah that was the reason why yeah okay, got it. and now is he someone that's your type yeah i would definitely say so you also look very fit thank you yeah very attractive appreciate it uh, yeah you look very stunning as well thank you yeah. <laughs> all right so we do have four balloons left unpopped i'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these guys another question Okay, so I would like to know about why your last relationship ended and also if you've ever been married. I fuck with Boy in the Gray. His suit is clean as hell. I fuck with his suit. Shout out to him. Married <clears throat> or engaged before, um, why it did not work out. Okay. All right, let's start right on over here if we can have your name and age. Yeah, so uh, my name is Josh. I'm 39 years old. I'm a... uh, Josh, what do you do? I'm a mental health therapist. Okay, and then just to go ahead and answer a question. Yeah, uh, so basically... I told y'all, man, most of these niggas is 35 and plus, 34 and plus. These niggas is super grown. I ain't going on this shit. No shit. Basically, uh, we kind of outgrew each other, right? So I feel like love is basically something that you... It's Love is freedom, so I allowed her to explore and be free, so that's what we did. So that's basically that. Okay. Let's go to our next guy. Your name and age. Philip, and I'm 34. And Philip, what do you do? I'm the assistant track coach for Arizona State. Okay. If you could just answer her question. So the reason why my last relationship ended is because the more I got on my purpose, the more our interests just changed over time. We're still cordial to this day, but we just decided to go our separate ways. Haven't been married, haven't been engaged. Okay. And have you ever cheated in a relationship before? No. Okay. 
All right, your name and age? B9. And Paul, what do you do? Uh, ICU and vascular access nurse and property investor. Nice. And if you can just go ahead and answer a question. Um, so my last relationship, uh, I don't drink very much, and that was more of something that she partook in. Um, to have some drinks at the restaurant and drink alone at home, and that's just a little bit too much for me because I rarely drink because I like to be in control of my body and stuff. Uh, I've never been married or divorced, and I've uh, never cheated. Very nice. Okay. And so we did get a pop down here when you asked that question. So let's head on over there and see why he ended up popping. If we can start off with your name and age. My name is Jay, 31. Okay. And Jay, what do you do? I work for Parks and Recreation, Recreation Coordinator. Yeah. Okay. So uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I'll be honest. You're nice. You know. I fuck with his, uh, his shirt. The shirt is clean. I fuck with the shirt. I like the color. And no home, I seen the back of his shirt in the beginning of the video. I fuck with his adult shirt. Nice looking. Um, you know, I'm a private person. So when it comes to relationship, I think that's something I would want to talk to you in a private part of our relationship. So That's fair. Yeah. Okay. All right. So is he someone that is your type of, you know? Yeah, I would definitely say so. Tall, dark, and handsome, so mm. I would say, yeah, you're my type. Okay. And then, so, is she someone that is your type? I know that question is what made you pop, but is she someone that's your type? Yeah, yeah. I think she, okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Thank you. All right, let's head on back. So, out of these three guys left, I'm going to go ahead and have you pop one of their balloons, just kind of based off of what you've heard so far and, you know, what you see, all that good stuff. So, let me hand you a pick. There you go. Thank you. And just go ahead and pop one of theirs. Okay. Oh, it's just these three. Just these three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why did we end up popping his? Um, I guess when it comes to like immediate physical attraction, it just wasn't really there. But um, you're very handsome and I'm sure. Fair enough. Um, <laughs> she's my type. I think okay. she's uh She's great. I, I was waiting to see more information because, you know, doctors are pretty busy with their work-life balance, but it's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay, let's head on back. Guys, any questions for our girl? Uh, one question. Okay. I knew I was going to say that before she said it. I was going to say it because she wasn't physically attracted to him, but I didn't get a chance to pause it, but I knew that was going to be the reason why she popped his balloon. Right over here. So, um... What is the what is some of your characteristics of a healthy relationship? So I think loyalty is very important and also communication, like making sure you're communicating. Like, for example, if you can't text me because you're busy all day, like just telling me in the morning, like, oh, I'm, I'm not going to be able to text, but I'll talk to you later um, rather than just like, you know, ghosting me and like ignoring my messages. So I feel like communication, loyalty, those are all very important. Um, obviously not cheating and things like that. Um, and then also making time for each other. So like, I'm not someone like, I don't expect someone to take me on a date like every single week, like all the time, like I understand. And then like, you know, there's free things that we can do. Like one of my dream dates is like a picnic and one like in like the park or something. And like, I feel like, you know, that's something you could like buy $20 worth of groceries at Walmart and have it. I don't need to be taken somewhere like some fancy restaurant. So, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. I got a question. Go ahead. So, with your profession, do you feel like you're going to be able to have a balance between work and your personal life? 100%. So, that's actually something like since I became a doctor, I just don't have time for people that say things like, oh, I don't have time for you. Because I feel like I'm someone that makes time for things that are important to me. Like I said, I do YouTube, I do gymnastics. I also teach gymnastics lessons in my free time. And so I have, you know, like very little free time, but I feel that I can make time for someone that I really care about and things that I really- No, listen, when people say they don't have time, people have time, bro. They make time for what they feel benefits they- situation and what they got going on so when people say that bro it'd be a bunch of bullshit but to her defense um she clearly just said that she'll make time for what she wants in other words <clears throat> want to do so i don't think it's an issue okay Good. yeah okay it's time to pop 
<laughs> oh my god this is hard i bet i bet yes oh my goodness so you're 39 and how old are you i'm 34 34 okay honestly like you were so attractive like um yeah i can't say anything bad you came dressed very nicely um I just feel like if you may be a little too old because you're about to turn 40 soon. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like you're probably more ready to like be a little quick on things than I am. Like I would like to get married, but um, as far as like having kids is not something that I want to do like at this moment. And, you know, I, I just feel like you might be more ready to do something like that. So <laughs> I'm going to have to. Okay. All right. So obviously you had your balloon and pop for her for quite some time. Why so? Um, very attractive, um, yes. beautiful smile. And then also I like that you have to be disciplined in order for a career like that. And then it's still within that discipline. You were able to, uh, you know, maintain your femininity. So thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and step that way and bring Philip. He's low key tight. I ain't going to lie. He's low key tight, but... Now, Philip, I'll have you stand right over here. All right, so my final question. Is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yes. Okay, and is it a yes for you for him? Yes. We got a match! <laughs> I'll take this mic, and okay. you guys can go right on up. Right. <laughs> Five more minutes. We already passed. We passed way the time, so... I already got an idea what I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh, 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 you're good, girl. Don't worry about it. <laughs> hey! Hi, I'm Kiana. Kiana, how old are you? I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? Um, I host events all over the valley, but I'm I'm mainly known for a. a t Yo, comment down below. Do y'all fuck with leg tattoos? I'm just curious to know. For my men out there, pause. Y'all yeah, jack uh, leg tattoos? Tarot reader. I'm the best tarot reader, Phoenix. And, dang, sorry. Um, best tarot reader, Phoenix. I also, um, I am the executive of the Hype Network, and I host... Um, and also, do you jack if your girl got more tattoos than you? Jack, uh, comment down below. Ladies, comment too if you uh, care if a dude is tatted or not. Just classes, curious. aerobics and step classes with my girl Bianca, and I model and many, many others. Okay, very cool. So you do a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, honesty, but someone that, you know, can keep me going too. Like, I really want to be able to, like, be inspired. Mm -hmm. And so that's very important to me. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? My deal breakers are kids. I don't want any kids. <laughs> But for the most part, like, kids are one thing. Mm. And then um, if you've ever cheated in a relationship, that's probably, like, another deal breaker for me. So Okay. All right. So we did get um, a few pop balloons. Yeah. Let's head on over to these guys, see why they ended up popping. All right. Let's start with your name and age. Um, my name is Josh. i um, 39 years old. And, Josh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I popped my balloon because you said you were a tarot reader. Um, yeah, I'm really big on energies, and I think that me being a Christian, um, it kind of goes against my values and whatnot. Um, so I feel like within that, I'm, I'm going to have to pass. I completely respect that. I think it's important that I can be who I am and do what I do with my career. So thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> and now, is uh, Josh someone that is your type? Absolutely. I think that you're very great looking, and um, I, I love your style, and you seem very sweet. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's go to our next guy over here. We can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Bassie. Um, I'm 36. And Bassie, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you, I like what you're wearing. You do look really good. Um, I like your energy, but you said you don't want guys with kids, so I do have two. So, yeah. Thank That's you for your honesty. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and apart from having kids, is he someone that is your type, though? Yeah, um, I like I said, I would like to get to know you more, but um, style-wise, it's, you know, for the first date, probably not necessarily, but I still feel like you're really sweet, and it's it's really nothing personal. So so you prefer me to suit up and all that? To what? So you prefer if I should suit up for the first date? Yeah. 
I mean, <laughs> honestly, kind of, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I mean, I won't be able to do that on the first day. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Let's get her. His fit is okay. Me, personally, I wouldn't wear that shirt. I would just change the kicks. The kicks don't blend well with uh, denim, shirt, hat. That's just me, though. You know what I'm saying? But that's probably why she wasn't jacking what he was wearing. Um, but And again, the shirt, I personally wouldn't wear that shirt. But, you know, if it suits you, cool. But that's just me. Our next <clears throat> guy, let's start with your name and age. My name is Paul. I'm 39. Okay. And Paul, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she's got a lot going for her. Um, I only work maybe two to three days a week. So while I respect she's doing a lot of great things, she may not have the time. And uh, I like to just spontaneously be able to get up and do stuff. So that's the only issue. But other than that, she's, she's great. Okay, got it. Now, is Paul someone that's your type? Um, I, I, I love how honest you were, and I love that you, like, <laughs> even thought about that. Like, I appreciate that as far as, like, style-wise and then height, probably mm -hmm. not. I do prefer just, like, a little taller. Sure. But you're really sweet, and I really appreciate you. No problem. Thank you. I hate to say it. I think out of all the niggas, he's going to get dubbed the most. Let's go down over here. Okay, let's start with your name and age. Uh, Johnny, 34. Okay. And Johnny, why'd you pop your balloon? Um, mainly because of the kid. I have a son. All right, y'all. So look, I'm gonna make this part one, right? If this does well, I'll continue to. I'll leave. Well, I'll leave where I left off at and continue to react on to this to this whole video. This video is well over an hour and twenty six minutes. I'm not gonna finna do a whole hour if the video doesn't do well so i know these type of videos has done extremely well for my channel so i'll continue to keep doing it you know i've been referred to do it so i'll continue to keep doing what's working but like i said i'm only gonna go as far as y'all will so you know again feel free to comment share share the people post your notifications on before i do end the video shorty does give off freaky vibes i ain't gonna lie she seems like she might be an issue um, I like the dress, but the tattoos is a bit much for me. I ain't gonna hold you, you know. As, if we're looking, if it's, if I'm looking to settle down and take somebody serious, this wouldn't be ideal for me. But if we looking to have a good time, mess around, all that good stuff, of course, you know, facts. But, um, but yeah, neither here or there. Yo, comment down. Let me know what y'all think of this video. Uh, Road to 1K. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch the content. Feel free to comment. As I said before, I do read the comments. Um, you might get a response from me. Who knows? But until next time, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Stay tuned for another video I'm going to drop. All right? Y'all stay blessed. Deuces. And we out.